and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name's Derek Ray and delighted to have alongside me as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Croatia against Italy. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they're consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. But won't be complaining about that cross poor quality and the starting 11 for Croatia Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield and up front it's the Croatian international Andrei Kramaric in 2008 where they got to the quarterfinals they were good teams then but Spain today they're an outstanding team Italy as well Albania did well in qualifying I think it's going to be a tough group but one they might not get out of there's just a feeling Stuart that some of the older players have passed their best can the young players come through for them they're going to have to if they want to qualify and get through to the quarterfinals maybe the semi-finals those young players are going to have to come to the fore are they good enough I don't think so Opportunity, and well, it's one pass after another. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Well, body in the way. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game, just what they were hoping to produce. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? The marker. The ball with Chiesa. Jorginho and also Di Lorenzo well read to put an end to that attack Stanisic running with the ball confidently oh could be and saved by the keeper Well, that's a fine-looking pass. 
very effective play and they might be onto something. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Jorginho. DiMarco. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Modric. And Kramaric on the ball. Well, he's given us away. It's very pleasing on the eye, this attack, which goes through Perisic. And let's give credit to the defending. Pellegrini. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. to play it to. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Di Lorenzo. Pellegrini. An astute piece of defending. Ivan Perisic. Intercepted effortlessly. Pellegrini. They're not giving the opposition a look in. And strong play. Varela. Josip Stanisic. Brozovic. How can they counter clinically? They've got the count of teammates. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And teammates around him. Varela. Di Lorenzo. For that tackle. Bonna Sosa. And Kramaric on the ball. Jorginho. deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game well for whatever reason it hasn't really happened for Federico Chiesa not in this game anyway well he has to find space in more dangerous areas he's such a good player around the box but today he struggled to get on the ball and that's one of the reasons they're losing here
Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Lorenzo. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. Coming into play, and rightly so. 
difficult to stop him. But he's doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Twenty minutes left in this game. Pellegrini. Now with Jorginho. Barella. That's ways on the pass. What a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. And they're making a change. And short it is. That's it back. of Brazilians there running the ball high up the pitch great example of it Andre Kramaric and Kramaric on the ball he's found a pocket of space Rosovic look at Modric the fans want to see a shot real chance and there's a quality defender in action. Jorginho. Varela has it. Gianluca Scamacca. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking though they might be. Promising move. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And the substitution will occur now. Well, the short corner routine. And whipped into the box. Making sure nothing came of it. Pellegrini. That is a tackle and a half. Mario Pashanic showing a real will to win the ball. Federico Chiesa likes to run with the ball at his feet. Pellegrini. In search of space. Chiesa looking for someone to play to. but he keeps the ball and a good looking ball a very effective clearance not quite the clearance they were hoping for and a super header it looked as though it might be going in Set the last chance to grab an equaliser. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Jorginho. Just became a teammate. Chiesa. Now with Barella. Oh, great attacking play. They need to get tighter. And quick thinking defensively. And the final whistle is sounded and a real sense of feel good in the Croatian camp because this has ended in victory. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart.
Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.